Hi guys, this is Aaron and this is the one and only expert lead in Coach Anna Vella Rose and today we'll be talking about signs she's intimidating you. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, before we start, please click that cheeky subscribe button and turn on the notifications as there will be many more videos will be coming into your way. Guys, I trust that you've been well and guys, thank you for your support and for always making time for Kama TV. Mm -hmm. Now, in our last video, we took you through intimidation and mm -hmm. how you can know when you're actually intimidating a woman and can actually ultimately be hurting your dating life and your chances with said female. So today, we're gonna flip it around and help you figure out if the woman in your life is actually scaring you. So guys, let's find out. While most men hold that actually they are not intimidated by alpha females, studies across the board have tangible evidence that men are generally intimidated by the power in women. Most men will conclude that certain women are either a handful, mm -hmm. complicated or too demanding while mostly these women are actually only too much of women for them. Yes, I have been falling into this category sometimes. Yes. You'll be shocked to know that men are intimidated more times than they care to admit. Other females, such as myself, have a very strong and willful character that makes us in charge of sort of everything and we do like to commit to it. Mm -hmm. This in itself can intimidate a lot of men and that is why society has not really taught yeah. men to accept it just yet. Well guys, let me summarize it. The way we have been socialized is what has led to this notion of intimidation? If men are brought up to view women as their equals, then intimidation would be non-existent. Now, here are the signs to look out for to know actually whether you are intimidated by powerful women or not. You out of your way to show off. As men, we are wired to switch to defensive mode whenever we perceive our powers threatened. As a result, when you are actually with a woman who seems to be above you, you are clueless as to what to do with or say to her. Subconsciously, you result to peacocking to get her attention and remain relevant. Mm -hmm. I've had many a man yeah. peacock in front of me. Uh, very precisely put, what most of these men do and don't actually realize is the last thing that quality women need to know is that he has or doesn't have. We really are not concerned. I mean, we probably, now when you're bragging about what you have, you could run into the stance that we already have what you're bragging about. Mm -hmm. And if we don't, we're probably powerful enough to get it for ourselves. In other words, showing off only ruins your chances of impressing such a woman. Yeah, well said, Annabella. Somehow everything she says seems to insult you. This is rather obvious. If everything she says, be it feedback, comments, and even compliments seem always to rub you the wrong way, then there's a high chance that you are actually intimidated by her. Yes. Now, in this circumstance, you're being intimidated. <laughs> This happens because when you are intimidated, you switch from being objective to mm -hmm. subjective. Now, as a result, you're likely to misinterpret a simple tease mm -hmm. because you objectively have already been blurred by the fact that she's a woman who is above you in certain levels of your life mm -hmm. for that matter. Now, this, however, does not help the situation because she cannot refrain from speaking her mind, a fear of rubbing you up the wrong way because she's so strong-minded, she's just going to say it anyway. Yeah. Things get awkward way too often. When you don't know how to act or what to say way too often and everything keeps coming out of the wrong way, be sure that actually that particular woman is intimidating you. Mm-hmm. Precisely. Right. Now, if you keep spilling drink or food over her and you say the wrong things way too often or you're being defensive for no apparent reason, mm -hmm. then you are not helping your case. If anything, you're not pushing that high quality woman towards you, you're actually pushing her away. Yeah, correct. You have problems putting words together. 
While being tongue-tied is allowed during the first encounter, experiencing this every time you are with a woman is a sign of actually being intimidated. Mm -hmm. Power of speech is one of the first things mm. that you will lose in the presence of someone you find intimidating. People refer to this as tripping over their words. Now, if you find yourself tripping over your words, even when there's no sense of sort of urgency or pressure, this can show you that you're intimidated by the person seated across from you. You're acting all jealous. Most women don't know this actually, but uncalled for jealousy is a telltale sign of intimidation. I mean, why would you be jealous of a new boyfriend a woman has when you had her around and was unable to let know your interest in her? Mm -hmm. It doesn't you make sense. Missed the boat. Yeah. Well, it doesn't always have to be maybe a romantic move. Yeah. It is, in general, a sign of intimidation. You don't offer much information about yourself. So it goes without saying that when intimidated by a woman, you could refrain from talking about yourself to avoid feeling less significant. You feel that she is way too accomplished to listen to your stories. Compared to her, you don't think that your wins are worth sharing. Yeah, correct actually. You don't master the courage to express your interest. When you know without a doubt that you are into your crush but can't master the courage to let her know that actually how you feel, then you know something about her intimidates you. Mm -hmm. If you're not able to make the first move, it can be a massive telltale sign about how yeah. you feel for her. But it also works both ways. You could be sure that she's equally as interested in you, but something in you holds you back from asking her out on an official date or going for that kiss you so desperately want. Mm. Guys, having a powerful woman in your life shouldn't be such a bad thing. I mean, it will not make you any less of a man when you take the back seat and allow her to take control of things even for just a while. Yes, well said, Emre. Yeah. Alpha females do not want to take on the role as the man. They want some room to be themselves, and that shouldn't be a threat to you at all. Yeah. <laughs> pointing at me that's very much like me. You'll be surprised to learn that such women are actually the best lovers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gents, please check out our Supreme Confidence course by clicking on the link below or clicking on the card above. I will help you overcome those limitations to your shyness and become that very confident man that attracts women instantly. Also, please check out our e-products page as we've got a number of e-books displayed and all of those e-books will contain a massive amount of strategies and knowledge to take your dating life to the next level. So click on the link below or click on the card above and it will take you to the display page and once the payment is complete, you can download it and start reading in a blink. If you've loved this video, lads, like, please share, like, comment, share, comment and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> I've been out of Belarus. This is Emre, and we'll see you next time.